Hello, my name is Yannis. This is only this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to apply error handlers into a project to avoid errors of happening. So let's go to File, New Project. This project is going to be Visual Basic Project, Windows Form Application. You can apply exactly the same process onto a C-sharp project as well. So I'm just going to call uh, Error Handler. And click OK. Now the next thing we need to do is add a number of text boxes. So let's put let's put a couple text boxes here. A uh, couple labels. In fact, I'm just going to put three labels here. Let's put four labels. Okay. This label will read total. Oops. Let's put column as well. This will display the total. Let's put zero by default. And let's name the label appropriately so we can call it through the code. So I'm just going to call it LBL total. Just going to type here the text value for this label will be first number. Here I'm going to change that to second number. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add these two numbers and then it's going to show the total here. So I need a button to apply the event. So click and drag a button to your project. And I will say add the first and the second number. Actually, in fact, just put give me the total. That's better. So if I double click here, this button, in fact, let's name the text box appropriately as well. So we can call them through the code. So txt one. And I'm going to call this txt. Two. Okay. So when somebody clicks on this button, I want to, I want to actually create ver uh, two variables first of all. I'm just going to say dim uh, first and uh, no first. No, let's put first number as integer and I'm just going to copy this. Paste it out and change it to second number. Second number as integer. And then I will say uh, txt1. Sorry. Uh, first number is equals to txt1.text. And then the second number uh, is equals to txt2.text. So I've created two variables and I say to that both variables are equivalent to the actual the text boxes that I have created. I can create a calculation. So I will say LBL total dot text is equals to txt1 dot text plus txt2 dot text or I can say 
why should I say this? I will say first number plus second number. That's why I created the variables in the first place. Okay. So to summarize, so I've created two variables. Uh, each variable is equivalent to a text box. Then the label will show me the total of these two text boxes added together, these two variables added together. Let's press play. And I'm just going to add here 2, and then here I'm going to add 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So if I click here submit, I should see 5. Okay, that's good. It's working. That's good. I've got no errors. Now, the problem we have is, though, if I remove these numbers and click submit, I've got an error message. Now, in, all, in order to avoid for something like this to happen, I could actually apply an exception. Or I can actually deal with that with the error handler. Now, the error handler will help me to uh, bypass this issue. Let's stop this project. So to apply an error handler, the best way to apply an error handler is to actually create a try statement. So you say try. And then we're going to say, once we try these two, we're going to catch. So we're going to try this and we're going to catch the outcome. And then it's going to keep trying. And then the outcome will be the value. So if I press start now, nothing happens, no error messages, 5 plus 5 equals 10, 0 plus 0 equals 0, 1 plus 4 equals 5. Okay, um, this is how you apply an error handler into a Visual Basic project. There's a number of different ways to add uh, error handlers within the project. My favorite is a try. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.